Good afternoon, Lee's Chip, and I'm John. This is Video True Dead. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Well, last time, how do I even summarize last time? So, Ilva basically, yes, created, uh, she created Mega Sweden, and then punched an emperor in the face, and then punched another emperor in the face, and then killed the king of Bulgaria because she flipping can. And uh, despite being literally genetically predisposed to dying early, She's now 77 years old and looking in pretty darn good shape. I can also confirm she is the oldest living giant in the entire world at this point by nearly a full decade. Oh, and here's cute, by the way. So, um, we've messed up Denmark so badly by, you know, going in, taking their previous heir and turning him over to our religion that I think they've immediately jumped ship to Scandinavian elective. But... There's not that many people to, uh, elect. So, right now, the next king of Denmark is going to be, um, this kid. And he's not doing desperately well in a whole bunch of ways, to be honest. I mean, Denmark's looking pretty vulnerable in general, so we might go in there soon. But yeah, money is looking... Well, it's coming in nicely, but I think we could do with a little injection. So, okay, guys, by now, Scotland should have recovered. And Scotland, by the way, now, um... They now own a bit of the Holy Roman Empire, and Bavaria is independent, as is a whole bunch of other stuff. So, yes, there's just been a big independence movement in the Holy Roman Empire, which is great. It's still a little bit, you know, uh, yeah, full of uh, dangerous stuff. Including, wow, Provence is doing well. Good job over there. Yeah, especially as my stress is a bit high right now, because creating Mega Sweden is, you know, not the easiest thing in the world to do when you're 77. So, okay. Feast or hunt, which is the best option for me? Here we go, hunt. Nice and cheap, and uh, I'm brave, so I enjoy hunting anyway. So, good. Sound the horn, marvellous. Oh, and here's cute. Even though I don't directly control this area, as long as it's part of my domain, I can raise my troops there. So, okay, we're even bloody closer to Scotland these days. And yes, tragically, I would say, uh, this exact moment in time, uh, yes, there are people who are just as good at raiding as Ilva is, though she's also busy with the hunt right now. So, uh, as we're raiding, Tost, me and you get on just fine. You're a reaver. In fact, maybe I taught you how to reave, I don't know. So you can go over there and deal with that while I'm enjoying a nice hunt. Though, unfortunately, the hunt's not really going very well. So, uh, I'm supposed to come back with a trophy... But I haven't actually, you know, found anything. Just a bit of a quiet day in the forest. So, uh, I could just go and buy a boar. But then, yes, I'd get a bunch of stress. And it would cost a lot because I'm honest. So, uh, the better option would be, yes, I actually lose stress for being honest. And also, I become uh, humbly honest. Which means, uh, plus five direct vassal. Not terrible, to be honest. I will be very humble about the fact on this occasion... I didn't catch anything, but I had a lovely time, and that's the important thing. Literally, this was all about losing stress. Ooh, and even better, apparently by hunting several times, uh, I have become a novice hunter, though to be honest, I feel like... I feel like, you know, I've got enough traits. You're not really supposed to have this many traits and perks, but uh, no, at this point I am a tough soldier, military engineer, reaver, giant, gallant, viking, contrite, fornicating, strategic, pilgrim, novice hunter. Because, of course I am. Admittedly, it does feel weird to have picked that up, you know, on the same hunt where I didn't actually, uh, you know, manage to, uh, win anything or bring anything back. But what can you do, eh? Alright, guys, get ashore and wow. We can bring home 600 gold. Okay, tossed. Hopefully, I have taught you well. So have fun with this and... Uh, Alright, Count Alf. Who's Count Alf again? Aha! So, yes, the son of John. The young Count of that area to the north of me. So, uh, alright. Could form a bit of a friendship. Could just annoy him for no reason. Could be stressed. No. Why not be friends with Alf Johnson? Alf Johnson sounds like a lovely guy. And yes, we're already uh, working on this. Nice and fast. Three, two, one. Keep on keeping on, please. Also, we're being attacked over in Mega Sweden, so that is... Uh, okay, that's Lotharingia. That's actually kind of a big deal. Uh, you've only got 3,000 troops right now. Right, what does he want? Because I might be willing to come back and help with that. Oh, it's another bloody holy war, dear oh flipping dear. Right, well... Okay, I will come and help with that. I'm pretty sure I've kicked this guy's ass before. Aha! 
This is the guy who actually holds the, uh, the north of Denmark right now. That's why he considers this, you know, in his neighborhoods. Just give me a moment to, you know, gather up some people, release and ransom some more people. Ten gold, sure, off you flip and pop. And we'll just, uh, work on all of this. Lovely. There's plenty of good gold to be got out of all of these churches. Lotharingians have arrived, but they appear to have split their forces up into, yeah, a couple of different groups. One getting on with a bit of sieging over here. That's going to take months before they achieve anything. The territory they're after is part of our land, though, so I guess we should go and assist, yes. And they appear to be kicking the ass of Sweden's army, but this is fine. I'm pretty sure we can, uh, we can handle all of this. So, uh, all right, back out onto the water. We're going to dump that money back home just in case we need it for anything. Uh, then we're going to go take care of this nonsense. Because, uh, yeah, the nice thing about Holy Wars is uh, kicking the ass of people who are attacking us in Holy Wars uh, gets me a lot of flipping piety, which is lovely. Not that lovely, to be honest, but like, you know, at least priests like me. Right, we're already almost home. They might decide to, yeah, come and reinforce. But honestly, if they do, I kind of don't care. Because I'm pretty sure we can handle this. So, okay, we have dropped off the money. Guys, go back into, yes, proper marchy mode, please. Uh, King of Sweden, I'm in on this one, by the way. Oh, and this is embarrassing. Ilva is getting on. As you know, she's like 77 or 7. No, she's 78 these days. Uh, she's not actually the best commander we've got here in terms of advantage. Count Thomas of Oland is superior, but he's actually, you know, off being a commander elsewhere. Possibly for the Swedish army itself, I'm not sure. Now, the current leader, Count Tost, he has got flexible leader. So, uh, yeah, he does actually have superior prowess and uh, defensive advantage. Now, uh, I will be the defender, because this is my territory. They haven't yet successfully sieged down. So, uh, once again, Tost, I'm leaving this up to you, because uh, I'm not going to be here forever. All right, as sad as it is, uh, I'm not. And that means uh, my commanders uh, have to be able to deal with this, even when I'm not here. Check the state of this army, by the way. There's, there's actually a lot of cavalry. Which is not good, because I've got a lot of archers. So that is... Uh, that's a lot of basic skirmishers. Okay, the basic skirmishers, that's fine though. Right, Tarst, get in there if you'd be so kind. That's going to be a massive victory. They're probably going to try and reinforce with the rest of the army. But if they do, I feel like they're going to uh, they're gonna regret it. So uh, in we go. And should be a massive... Excuse me, why are we... Excuse me? Why has the enemy got the advantage? Oh, it's because I recently disembarked. Okay, fair enough, I suppose. Right, well, let's tear some heads off regardless, and I think they're trying to flee. Right, so... Oh, Count Orvar just killed one of their dukes. Oh, yeah. Oh, flip, yeah. One of your dukes is dead now, and... Uh, I just became known for my dedication to my faith. At this point, I am a, a paragon of virtue, because I am getting a lot of flipping... We captured... I'm pretty sure he's dead, right? Okay, well, we captured his body, but like... Yeah, we ripped off his head. I'm moderately confident he's not in prison. I mean, we've got this woman, whoever she is precisely. Um, not sure who she is actually. So, I guess we just burn her at the stake. Right, get after these bastards. Let's just cut them the flip down and you're gonna get away in time or... Oh, oh, he caught, wow, we caught like one of them, but now, oh, now the advantage is in my favour. All right, so we're going to destroy them. They're going to be falling apart, and by the time the reinforcements arrive, the battle's going to be basically already over. So one of ours was wounded, unfortunately, and Orvar getting some more good kills in. Well done, Orvar. There we flipping go, and uh, Stone of Glass. Okay, aha. Apparently my eyesight's starting to go. So for 140 gold, I could get myself, like, a magnifying glass. Or I could sell everything which I can't read anymore. Which strikes me as a, a bad idea, to be honest. I mean, 300 learning lifestyle. I shan't say no because, uh, I mean, I'm gaining a ridiculous amount of piety right now. Could I reform the religion before I die? 
Ah, no, because one of the three holy sites I need is not technically inside my realm, because, uh, yeah, it's over here somewhere held by somebody who's not reporting into me. Also, all my buildings are coming in nicely right now. Got some small harbours and whatnot. So, yeah, that's more and more flipping money. Love it. Right, troops. Let's see if we can just uh, chase down some of these losers. Uh, that'll be fine. According to the comments, by the way, this whole uh, two-star decent quality thing, this isn't a bug. It's just, yeah, knights were being overrepresented before, though... Uh, I will admit, it now feels a bit odd that basically every army in the world is uh, the same thing, which is uh, two stars. Everything seems to be two stars. Oh yeah, there we go. That battle, 100 piety, because of course it was a holy war. Another 100 piety right there, flipping love it. You guys are fleeing over to here, aren't you? Yes, yeah, I see where you're going. I see where you're going. Well, I'm going to go and take care of that, all right? You guys are going to be in flipping trouble. Oh, hang on, we need to go to... Okay, these are some odd-shaped counties, but whatever. Right, go over to here instead so we don't take attrition. All right, we just need to... Aha, there we go. You're going to try and get away. Oh, no, you don't. No, you flipping don't. Right, two months until this place falls. That's all absolutely fine. If they try and get over the sea, we'll just go and attack them again and... Uh, learning lifestyle. Okay, hang on, what can we do here? Because, yeah, even if we could get another holy site, profit, which we would probably still need, is uh, four away. That doesn't seem likely. We'll just take carefree, all right? Avoid stress, given, you know, I am getting on a bit. Okay, they're gonna try and flee to the north, but I think we can finish this siege, then go and pursue them before they can do anything useful. And reinforcements are arriving too. They're sending more troops in. But the Swedish army seems to have, uh, yeah, reformed itself a little bit. We've taken a bit of stuff here. We've managed to capture somebody's mother. Lovely. And they don't seem to know precisely what they want to do. So, okay, don't want to get on with this. I mean, I can do this in two months. All right, pastures coming in too. And uh, the age of the world. Aha, because I'm being all learny right now. Though apparently what I've done is I've calculated that, uh, yeah, the end of the world is uh, less than a century away. Right, well that's, that's gotta be, you know, concerning for people. And I may become more cynical or more zealous. Yep, zealous. Okay, so we don't announce the end of the world. Probably a good plan. Then again, if I don't choose either, I just get even more experience. No, let's become more zealous, damn it. And the dynasty head has just changed from... Okay, this is this is all very confusing. So, the reason I haven't bothered creating my own branch in the dynasty is because my son was the dynasty head and I was going to play as him. But now it's moved over to Countess Elizabeth. And uh, why would she be the bloody dynasty head? Literally the only bit of the dynasty that is hers is this bit. Everything else belongs to the starting house. Okay, so them over there, they need a good three or four months to wrap this up. We're going to wrap ours up in a single month, so... Uh, okay, Sweden, stand by. I'm going to come in and assist very, very soon indeed, all right? I promise. Okay, everyone on the boats, we're going to get aboard, uh, go over here, and we might be a bit late to that siege, unfortunately. Uh, I think they might have been a bit lucky with... Come on, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get on there. No, we're not going to make it in time. Then again, hang on. We might be able to. 16 days. Screw it. Land on top of them. Go. Go, go, go. We're going to disembark right in their cocking faces. And, oh, they're trying to flee. They're trying to flee. Oh, dear. Oh, flipping dear. Looks to me like you're going to be destroyed. Then again, we're going to take some, um, Sweden. Sweden, I need you to get involved, please. Because we've got some advantage problems. I mean, we're tearing off some heads. Well done, Todd. My other son doing some lovely work there. This is... Oh, balls, you absolute flipping coward. Sweden, what have you done? Right, everybody get out of there. Dear, oh, flipping dear. The Gren dynasty is known far and wide, apparently. That's nice. Um, we just flipping lost a fight. And uh, Mayor Ing was taken prisoner. I don't know who Mayor Ing was, but that's all unfortunate. Right, well, this is tossed. I'm really disappointed in you. Dear oh flipping dear, this is all very embarrassing. We just lost a lot of troops there. 
Right, fall back to Auland. We will just recover nice and fast. Sweden is just bumming about doing its own thing for no well-explained reason. There was a bit of raiding going on over there. Did you go and prioritise raiding over reinforcing flipping me? Because if so, I'm going to be really annoyed. Right, so it's going to be a bit expensive to, you know, fix up the army. But we should be able to do it pretty fast, all things considered. And we have just put a dent in them for you. And no, hang on, we've got another change. Now Count Arnbjorn is the dynasty head. Did Elizabeth die? Yes, Elizabeth just immediately died. Then it went back over to Orvar. Then it went over to the new head of House Lama. So I don't know what the bloody hell's going on over there. Right, troops, we're also losing supplies right now, so head back to Upland itself. This isn't really our war. Sweden should be able to handle this one by themselves, to be honest. So, if we're lucky, they'll be fine. Alright, we just need to restock, refill up our troops, everything's... It's bloody Orvar again, isn't it? Bloody dynasty! Right, supplies should now be, yes, refilling, which is very, very nice indeed. And uh, troops are also going up again. We've already managed to, yes, fill up the professionals. Uh, and the levies uh, could do with a bit of a top up. But honestly, we're basically fine. Okay, I'm sorry, Tost. But um, you're being relieved for gross incompetence. Thomas, don't let me down. Okay, supplies looking good. I now want a bit of flipping revenge. So uh, the Swedish are just doing some counter-sieging. I'm going in to murder these bastards. Because I'm not having it. Okay, I'm not having a loss. Count Tost has disappointed me. He has let me down. And, oh, I think they're trying to get involved at this point, but no. No, 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 I'm not having it. So this time, the advantage is... Why is the advantage against me? What is going on here? I think it was just a bad roll, actually. This should stabilise a little bit. Even so, we're destroying them. We're tearing off some heads. Well done, Thomas. Knew you were the right person for the job. Okay, now that, that's some proper vengeance. Good, 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 good. And darn it, that's just a flipping mare. Thought there was someone more important there for a second. Uh, still, mares tend to be able to command a, yeah, bit of money on the old ransom, so I won't say no to that. Right, guys, naff off. No, are they just going to focus on trying to take back, yeah, they're going to try and take back their own cities. So, uh, if they're going to try and do that... We're going to get out to sea, we're going to take uh, this city right here, then we're just going to swing along and mop them up. And I'm going to be honest, we're going to need speed, so uh, Ilva, you're flipping up. Also, apparently we lost a steward at some point, so okay, who's important and wants a job? Both of you, but you're both cocking hopeless, though admittedly, uh, yeah, we're really lacking for uh, stewardship talent in this empire. You know what? Fine. Ragenheld, you can have a job. I'm going to regret this because you're going to mess it up. But I guess that's just what we're going to have to deal with. Right, Ilva, show them how it's done because you, you are the queen of sieging. So you should be able to handle this no problem whatsoever. That's going to take you, yeah, three months to get done. We're already on 45 days. So yes, we're absolutely flipping destroying them. Then we come over here, destroy you, move over here, destroy you again. You're going to be pretty much out of your Danish holdings. Everything's going to be good. Right, another territory bites the dust. Move over here, destroy these people. So uh, supplies are lower, better soldiers, higher quality, more men at arms counter. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. So they might be able to take this back, but they're going to sacrifice a good part of their... No, they're going to come and reinforce and... Uh, Bad call, and uh, Thomas has ripped off yet another head. We should keep a track of this. Is anyone keeping track of how many heads have been ripped off? Because I feel like that's a stat the game should be tracking. So, uh, you've just been destroyed, uh, and then uh, the reinforcements have uh, also uh, been destroyed. So, this is uh, this is marvellous right here. Right, so you guys are all dead at this point. Good, good, good. And they're about ready to surrender. Marvellous. There we go. We have won the war, and I assume I should get some good stuff out of that. So I contributed everything to Inter Prestige. Not exactly much, really. I feel like I should get a share of the reparations. Right, disband the army. The bare minimum, yes. Yeah, Sweden should now be... I guess they were... Oh, yeah, they're, uh, they were losing money fast. So, okay, at least Sweden's not in a hole anymore, because we want Mega Sweden to be strong, damn it. Oh, and here's fun. So yes, the um the Air to Denmark got bored of waiting 
for the king to die. So he decided he was just going to uh, have a war to make himself king. A useless, useless king. I love it. So just wait for that. There we flip and go. So there is now this guy in charge in Denmark, which is uh, gotta be good news. Even without being a prophet, I've almost got enough flipping piety to uh, reform the religion. Even if I wouldn't be able to afford to change anything about it, I would be able to reform it. So uh, that would get rid of that, yeah, blanket minus 20, just because the faith is unreformed. So, uh, okay, this is, uh, this is interesting. This is all very interesting, but I'd need another holy site. All right, it's going to take me uh, three odd years uh, to get a claim down uh, to get this one internally. But, yeah, there's the Holy Roman Empire, bad call, France, which unfortunately is doing pretty well right now. All I need uh, is Zealand, right here. Beautiful, beautiful Zealand with a massive great temple I could build there. But attacking France is going to be uh, tricky. And right now... Uh, yeah, I don't have much in the way of, uh, allies, to be honest. Do I have anyone I could, like, you know, marry off to somebody else? Because, uh, I feel like we're a bit lacking in the old alliances front. Okay, my daughter's not married to anybody right now, but, yeah, 58-year-old woman is not going to be spectacular on the old alliance front, I suspect. Ah, but, 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 but... Orvar has his own court, so I can't do anything with his grandchildren, but Tord, he still lives with me. So as a result of that, yeah, his children are up for grabs. Though sadly, the best we can do is getting her hooked up with Gotland, and it feels like we've been in an alliance with them like 10 million times. It never lasts. So it's only 1,500 troops. I mean, my economy is in good enough shape. I could just, you know, create another 1,500 troops by investing in buildings and men-at-arms. So I feel like that's not the right way to go. Okay, right now I've got a basic level 1 castle in the capital. Now, unfortunately, I can't take that up to level 2 because, uh, you know, I could get the money easy enough, but we don't have battlements yet, so we need the cultural advancement. We don't have that. And until we've got the keep, yeah, all this stuff, nothing we can do with it. Okay, here's the chance we might have. We could build a super elite army. So if I just build some military camps dotted about, that is my archer damage up. I have got a lot of flipping archers. So uh, slap you down right there. And another one right here, because this is also extra levy. So uh, this is powering up my men at arms. All right, bigger armies and better ones too. Speak of the devil, we do actually have one arch unit already up to max with, uh, wow, 41 damage. Absolutely lovely. So plus 7 from domain, plus 30% from hit and run. Beautiful. We could have a bit more though. Right now we don't have much in the way of uh, anything else. Right, begin investing. I want more siege equipment, I want more pikes, I want more horses. Good. We can afford it, alright? The economy's in good shape. In fact, if I want troops... I'm gonna be honest, yeah, Thomas, you my friend, I feel like you've, you know, already done a really good job improving my commanders, alright, that's been going great, so how about instead, uh, yeah, let's get the levy sizes up a bit, we need everybody on board ready for flipping France, because uh, we could just go to France, we could go to France and take Zealand off them. Though if France would like to, you know, be attacked, attack somebody else, something of that nature, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so the army is now up to... Yeah, it's moving in the direction of 7,000, though it's unlikely to get there. If we want more, we're going to have to uh, pay for it. And the problem here is uh, I'm worried uh, that when the time comes, uh, yeah, the economy is going to crash. But we're making so much money right now. No, do not even think about Huskarls. Don't do it, all right? New unit of Bowman, because uh, this one's already now full up. So, yeah, screw it. Get those Bowman up to level four. I want another 300, 400 odd men just standing by, ready to go. Because these Bowmen are dumb powerful. 
Like, so dumb powerful. They are hitting so hard. Ilva has reached the age of 81, by the way, which is just ridiculous. Seriously, France, there's so much Spain just chilling out right here. Why don't you go and attack it? Might be good for a laugh. And somebody's trying to kill one of my champions. That's unusual. I'm not sure why they'd be bothering, really. I mean, he's not important. He's just some guy and bloody hell, more flipping, more flipping learning lifestyle. I mean, I guess we may as well just start going towards, you know, profit. Also, why am I on scholarship focus? Did I... I must have clicked that at some point. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This doesn't seem, then again, could go towards theology. I mean, theology gets me more piety. I need a bit more piety. But I was on medicine, so I didn't die. Though, admittedly, I'm doing a good job... You know what? Let's not, uh, let's not bank on that. Back to medicine, please. Back to medicine. I've got plenty of piety coming in already. Right, so we're going to try and reform the faith by attacking France. Sure, that's a thing that it makes sense for Duchess Ilva to do. Right, troops heading up. There's another, what, 200 to come in. So that's going to be about 7,000 men when all's said and done. Now, France does... Uh, they do outnumber us. Which is... Ah, they've got armoured horsemen who are pretty badass. In fact, they've got plenty of horsemen, which does have the advantage against my troops. In which case, if we were to go in, then what we'd need to do would be, yeah, be able to counter all of those horsemen. And we've discovered guilds, which is, aha, that's plus one domain. Good, 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 good. All right, my liege, what do you want to study next? Because you need to pick a new fascination. He's gone for bailiffs, so, okay, that's actually, ooh, Okay, this is a rare thing. So, this is actually our exposure as well as our fascination. Which means it doubles up and it's going to happen in no time. So, uh, domain limit's about to go up, like, again. Okay, so this does mean I could hold a tiny bit more territory. The question is, what territory does it need to be? Because, uh, to be honest, I wouldn't mind, you know, rationalising the Duchy of Owland. Because right now I don't really, like, you know, own very large parts of it. So... Uh, if I could just revoke a tiny bit of it, like, say, this bit right here, then I'm pretty sure it is. Hang on, just double-check that it is. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of supposed to own that anyway. And there has been some good investment here. So this would be, yeah, relatively easy for me to just revoke. Take it. Big old pile of levies. That's going to help with the French war efforts. I mean, there's Owland over here. But, of course, yeah, that place was always tiny. So, oh, and it's also been constantly, uh, yeah, attacked by uh, the tribes next door. So that's not a good bet. Meanwhile, down over here, you guys have got, yeah, a little bit of investment, but not so much. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Alf Johnson, I'm gonna be honest, how do you feel about... Okay, protected titles. Well, we can modify that. I'm willing to let you off 0 0.2 gold a month in order to get rid of that nonsense. So, uh, yes, that's fine. He's pretty cool with that. He really shouldn't be, because I'm about to immediately use that to, you know, revoke his title. So, he's also got... Ah, he's got this one down over here. Okay. If I take this, this is now an act of tyranny. My subjects are not going to be thrilled about that. But I feel like everyone kind of loves me already. Just check my vassals here, like... How much is uh, minus 20 gonna matter. Honestly, for the vast majority of them, barely at all. And the control will fall by minus 30, but honestly, that's... it's not spectacular. And there is a possibility he might, you know, decide against it. And uh, it belongs to... Does it? Are you sure that belongs to you, De Yure? Because I'm pretty sure it belongs to me, De Yure. I mean, the troops here and here are basically identical, so... Okay, my friend, how about you? Do we also need to... Yes, we need to modify everybody's contract so I can actually, like, you know, take stuff off them. Now, he's actually guaranteed to accept that. He's just perfectly chill with me just having his stuff. So, yeah. As there's less risk of uh, any trouble going on here, I would say... Uh, we're going to say, uh, we're just going to say we're going to be having that. So, okay, we're having Sunderland back. Or, like, sewed-up manor land. Sorry, that one always gets me. Yeah, I'm having that. Sorry. 
Right, so I've stripped that off of him. We know that, uh, yeah, control falls, but honestly, not much. So we could have you come and help me with that. But honestly, it's, it's going up 0 0.6, which is uh, not spectacular. That gets me up to 7,000 odd troops, but we could do with... Uh, yeah, get over here and help out with that. That's going to be really powerful and it's going to speed it up a lot. So that now jumps up to... Yeah, that's like one all by itself. So that's going to get up towards 100 nice and fast. Right, one year yet to go. That's going to be great. Hang on, just double check that's not actually affected the uh, the inheritance, right? Because that should all be going to... Uh, yeah, that should all be going still to Orvar. The only bits going to Tord are going to be the bits up there. But at least we're starting to rationalise the duchy a bit. Oh, and there's some trouble going on over here with my son, who's, you know, supposed to be taking over all of flipping Owland very soon. But he got his own grandson killed in a siege because he's having trouble with bloody hell. Orvar, this is unacceptable. What is going on right now? Oh, peasants. You can't deal with peasants, can ya? Right, okay, well done. So this is, that's super promising, isn't it? Oh, but here's interesting. So, um... It would appear that the previous heir to the throne of Sweden has passed on, and uh, the guy who's now top of the flipping list is, well, it's one of my vassals and my champions, who just sort of, uh, okay, he's part of House Lama, but he's still part of the dynasty of Gren, so, uh, I mean, I'm gonna vote for him, I see no reason why not. Yep, yeah, I'm guessing one of the king's children recently died of something. So as a result of that, yeah, all of a sudden, wow. Okay, um, just out of interest, how did you get a claim on the whole of flipping, you know, Sweden? Ah, from intermarriage two generations ago. Well, that's fascinating. And France does have a war on, but it's an absolutely flipping tiny one, unfortunately. So yeah, one of his uh, vassals has broken away. The number of troops he's got right now is reduced as a result of that. So, uh, we could go head to head. But that war's not going to last long. No, but this... This could still be possibly the best opportunity we're going to get. Okay, hang on. Over to uh, the troops. I want more archers, alright? I want so many more archers, alright? Max that out. I want two full stacks. Right, move Thomas back over to, yes, organising the levies here. This territory is now up to 91. We got ourselves, yeah, a good 7,600 troops. And we're gaining a whole bunch of bowmen. All right, they are very, very fast to recover because they're so bloody expensive. Once that's all done, yeah, that's going to be another few hundred. That's going to bring us to about 8,000 and... Uh, Okay, my husband is also giving me attentive care. So that's a massive boost to health for the next five years, which is good because I feel like I could literally drop dead any second. But I mean, we're gaining a we're gaining a huge, huge amount of piety. We've almost got enough here. This is good. Uh, focused recruitment as well. Levy size plus twenty five percent. Good, good. I'll flip and take it. This is this is all marvelous. So another eighty about to uh, about to come in there. Oh yes, if we're going up against France, we're going to be needing uh, pikemen. Oh, I'm. I think I'm spending a little bit too much on troops right now, actually. But like, you know, we kind of uh, we kind of need pikemen to deal with all of that and uh, the power of heroic sagas. Well, this is all very exciting, right? So uh, I should prove I paid attention by quoting a passage. So uh, okay, I can get myself prestige. Alternatively, okay, it's all the same. It's just yeah, this is just about my reputation uh, with this guy. So I need to compliment him. He is a berserker, one-eyed, uh, novice physician. Okay, well then it's got to be, you know, ferocity, surely. And, uh, yes indeed, he was very, very happy with that. Good, 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 good. Oh, and apparently drama's happening because the drama music started. So, uh, okay, I'm over in the barracks and a severely wounded soldier has been brought in. Now, my doctor's gone missing, but... Count Orvar wants to get involved. I mean, he's fairly clever, to be honest. He is apparently a... Oh, I thought that was physician. No, he's a torturer and a murderer and a blade master. I'm going to be honest. I feel like he's not going to do his best work here. So, okay, we have got learning challenges. Or I can say, no, I shall heal him. 
or let him bleed. That's um, it's a bit harsh. Do not know who this guy is? He's just some random wanderer. Okay, no. We're going to work together to save this guy. Though we might potentially lose him anyway. And... Okay, we've saved this guy's life. And... I mean, do we... Do we need him for anything? Well, he's joined my court, so... He might be... Okay, apparently he's good enough to actually be uh, a knight. Regardless. So, welcome aboard. Oh, and that stupid tiny war France was having is already over. Yeah, that was a really tiny one. Oh, now this is what I wanted to see. What's that? Poland's decided it wants to own France. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, this is it. This is the opportunity. All right, so uh, Poland and Georgia are coming in to attack France. And uh, yeah, there was some, um, there was some issue where the previous king had a chance of being, yes, he had a good run of being the king of France, but there was some last minute chicanery. So, uh, Poland's coming in. France is going to be kept... Oh, my. France is going to be kept very busy by this one. Oh, I love it. This I flip and enjoy. And yeah, there's a tiny bit of Poland uh, right there. Not sure George is going to be that useful, but they might show up sooner or later. Okay, now this. This I want to see. Because even if France wins, uh, their army will be badly battered. Okay, it's on. The war on France is on. We just need to get everything ready. Ilva, hold on. We're going to France. Also, Finland's back, and doing pretty well these days, so well done, Finland. Also, I hadn't noticed that apparently Sweden's been doing a very good job over here in Scotland, just taking over vast amounts of land. So, uh, we got Iceland, uh, someone's been doing a good job over here, the same guys who own this random bit, so okay, you just enjoy uh, owning odds and ends. Uh, what we need, what we need now really is Sweden to be in on this. If we could just get Sweden on board, wow, you guys have got... You guys have got a good army. Admittedly, like, half of it's coming from us, but still, it's nice. Okay, just wait, watch, be careful. Alright, we just need to keep a really close eye on this wall, because presumably, France is going to come over here and immediately siege down this bit of territory. And it's going to take Poland a little bit of time to march over there, because borders just seem to be permanently open, so they're just going to march straight over the Holy Roman Empire, no trouble. So yeah, they've just taken that, no trouble at all, except, hang on, that's defending against... Ah, yes, you're doing well right now, because you've taken that tiny bit of Poland. Fair enough. But, they've got... Ooh. Okay, there's... Never mind, it's not exactly uh, spectacular what you're bringing there. Okay, fine. We just need to watch the troop camp, but the problem is I don't know what's happening, though I could. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, Mr. Spymaster... Would you mind going over towards, like, um, France, for example, and just, like, you know, giving a bit of a spy? Do we actually gain... No, I don't think we gain visibility. You used to gain visibility at Crusader Kings 2 from doing that, but not anymore. Oh, and another war's just broken out. Okay, this is, this is very positive. So these guys have got only 2,000, but again, it's just going to keep him distracted, busy. This is what we want to see. Oh, the game is officially acknowledging at the age of 84, my health is poor and I'm ailing. So despite medicine focus, despite attentive care, despite iron constitution, yeah, I'm starting to fall apart regardless, which is very much understandable. And we've discovered, we've discovered bailiffs. Okay, so we're now up to flipping eight. This is, well, this is lovely. The problem is there's not much I can safely revoke without a good chance of a rebellion, so... Uh, okay, we could go and attack these guys, but that's war against Lithuania. And it wouldn't be producing much after I've taken it anyway. And there has been a battle, but to be honest, it kind of looks like the French are doing very, very well. Like, yeah, they won... Uh, they won a major battle there, and I don't know if I can actually get any information about that. No, I can't get any information, but it looks like Poland marched in. France just handed their asses to them. Okay, let's talk about more ways we can very quickly, you know, boost things up here. So, uh, put together a bit of money, hire some mercenaries. For that, we're going to be needing a bit more in the way of, you know, uh, cash. But I could very easily and quickly get 1,500 troops that way. That is uh, not a bad thing at all. So, I kind of feel like... Yeah, a quick Denmark raid. That'd be a good thing. There's, uh, there's money enough here. Not spectacular, but it'll do. 
Oh, spectacular. Their incompetent inbred king now has a drinking problem too. Right, Tost, get in there. Just help yourself to a little bit of money. This is going to be absolutely spectacular. That's all fine. Get in there, sort it out, and then, yeah, bring it back. We're going to hire some mercenaries, and then I think it's time. I think that will be the time for us to make a move against France. Because uh, there's something going on here, and, oh, tawny troubles. So, okay, a wrestling tournament. Nice. So, can I take parks? I feel like I'd be pretty good at that. One of my earls just pushed me into a water thing. I am not 100% keen about this. Fine, I guess I'll be gracious about it, but I'm not thrilled that you just did that. Yep, here we go. So, uh, let's just move in that direction very soon. We might be able to... Bloody hell, if we can reform the faith. And someone's got a claim. Okay, hello, who are you? Oh, you're just a guest. Well, that's not important. And oh, flip me, my husband is also making sure I'm nice and comfy. So, okay, we are just piling on everything. I have now got, uh, yes, attentive care and living healthy. So my husband is fluffing my pillows. He's bringing me chicken soup. I'm dying, but hopefully he might slow it down enough. Right, let's get in over there, ransack all this. It's going to take a handful of weeks to do, so that's already done. And yeah, obviously Denmark's not going to be able to do uh, anything in return. So we just get in over there, steal all of this. We're still making money regardless, which is flipping great. And then just keep on keeping on. Lovely. Just ransack all of this, move straight back home, all right? We just need a little bit of money for our handful of mercs. Oh, and flip me. So... Ilva's managed to outlive the king, who was unfortunately my friend, so I picked up a bit of stress from that. Only 11, though. But, uh, yeah, the king has passed on at the age of 62. Very young, relatively speaking, but uh, he didn't have a husband paying a lot of very close attention to him, so what can you do, eh? So, uh, he's gone, but that means uh, something very, very interesting has just happened. The king is now of the Gren dynasty, which is just, oh bloody hell, what just happened? Okay, so we, um, right, Mega Sweden's gone, because, uh, aha, of course. So, uh, Norway presumably is, uh, what's Norway doing, by the way? Yeah, that's just, uh, partition. So, Norway just went down the family tree, Sweden, meanwhile, belongs to, uh, well, I tell you what, I will take that as a first step. Right now, Sweden belongs to my dynasty. Unfortunately, it's House Lama, but, you know, it's still the right dynasty, and that's worth a lot of renown. I mean, in a way, this is good, because the King of Norway is still Swedish, he is still of the one true faith, so as a result of that, he's going to get on with, you know, converting all of this, and we've already made some really, really good progress here. So that is spectacular. Right there. He's going to get on with the rest of that. No problem whatsoever, though. Uh, hang on, what? What country owns... Well. Well, 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 well. Now, that's technically, you know, Norway, not Sweden. Oh, now this. This is fascinating. Admit I don't really want to have to go to war with... How am I related to the king precisely? Hang on. Okay, so there's me and there's him. So he's my father's brother's grandson. So that is second, second grandnephew? I don't know. Or is that second? No, wait, hang on. Okay, he's over there somewhere. We're not that close. But now, all of a sudden, I can't help but notice there's a giant flipping pile of people of my dynasty who just became candidates. Including the guy whose title I recently revoked. So, you know what? I'm going to back him for now. Because he's of my dynasty. He is of Gren, which is marvellous. Ah, but here's interesting. This kid who's now running Norway is also the brother of the King of Lithuania. Which is... Very interesting. So a Norwegian-Lithuanian alliance seems pretty likely. But yes, unfortunately, we're going to be having to take this. Though then again, I could... I could take an entire duchy. I mean, 
it might help, you know, rationalise things a little bit. Hang on, which is the which is the duchy I need to take? Okay, it'll be that one, and that's not going to help rationalise anything, no. And I don't really want to be spending piety right now, that's kind of a thing I need. So, uh, yeah, the one I need is uh, this one, that one that's, that's not even a letter, you just made that up. Right, we're going in, we should be absolutely fine, we just march in, we take it, it's a single county, it should not be a big deal. And as we need to siege things super fast, Ilva, you're actually the best candidate we've got. And Count Tost has been doing something unsavoury behind my back, which is very rude, quite frankly. But I'm going to be honest, he's a good commander, so we're completely overlooking that. Right, prepare all troops to move in and... Uh, yes, indeed. The king is now... Oh, yes, I'm kind of moving behind enemy lines. Okay, fair enough. So, actually, hang on. How much... How much is that going to cost me? That's going to cost me 100 men, 100 men. I kind of don't care. I'd rather take the war score immediately. Also, bloody hell, who's been blinding who? Oh, yes, that's right. You're in France, aren't you? Sorry, I forgot about that. Also, the Norwegian army is just sort of here for some reason. So we kind of may as well just go and, uh, yeah, catch them. Because I'm pretty sure we can get on top of them before they can escape. So, yes, you know what? I think we're, uh, we're going to be fine. So we've wounded some guy, and then we're just going to take you out too. I'm really sorry about this. I would like us to be friends, but I kind of really want this holy site as well. Then again, the capital's apparently, like, right here. So we kind of may as well just take that while we're passing. That's got to be worth some good war score. Oh, yeah, we're going to take... We're going to take the capital in a month and a half. Oh, Ilva, I'm going to miss you when you're gone. Right, just a handful of days left, you're retreating over there, and we have now captured uh, the capital of this whole region. Right, move in this direction, now there's no attrition whatsoever, and... Okay, why do people keep making me steward? Please stop it, it makes no sense. Look, look how useless your marshal is! Now we should be able to catch up with the Norwegian army, actually. Oh, apparently we're going... Uh, Things are a bit slow here. Okay, you know what? Let's just go and take the uh, the wall target. That's the most important thing. We're already at plus 37, which is great news uh, right over there. We'll go and catch up with these bastards later. The wall target is the more important thing, especially as we can take it in like a month and a half. Right, no time whatsoever. That's just collapsing and uh, no more secrets. Yeah, don't waste more time. I feel like this is definitely a better option than invading France to get hold of the Netherlands. All right, definitely. And, uh, okay, that's 54. We've also managed to take some... Uh, wow, we captured a flipping duchess. She's got to be worth some money. Okay, move over here for now and keep an eye on, yeah, what these guys are doing. Though. Then again, actually, hang on. Uh, duchess, you are... Right, you're already of the right religion, so we don't cause any trouble there. Could we just uh, ransom you for 100 gold? Okay, are you contributing anything to war score? No, literally nothing. Well, in that case, you can go. Here we go, they're launching their attack over here at my northern territory, but that's going to take them months to do anything with. Meanwhile, we've already almost taken this place, so hang on, how are you doing? Wow, just a handful more days. Uh, okay, lovely, and we got a handful of gold too. Right, uh, head over here, just smash into them, and that should hopefully be enough to wrap this up. Oh, he knows something's up. He's now retreating. Yep, they're going to try and retreat, but I don't think they're going to make it because uh, we are a lot faster than them. So, uh, I'm very sorry about this, guys. Seriously, I am. I would like us to be friends uh, once this stupid war is done. But for the time being, uh, there we go. Job done. Right, so we captured a whole bunch of people, actually. Uh, how much of the war score is that? None. Good. Okay, well, then I'm selling them before we actually uh, yeah, do anything. Just in case any of these people turn out to be uh, very valuable. So that's just a favour. That's 25. Uh, okay, I'll sell you back for 25. That's fine. You two, however, you're not actually part of my religion. So you're going to go down. And you are also going to go down for some, yeah, piety and whatnot. So basically, buy. And I'll be enforcing my demands. Uh, boom. And with that... With that, with that, with that, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't help but notice that we could... Why has it just got more expensive? Oh, sorry, I was playing with, like, the various settings earlier. So, okay, hang on, how do I reset it to what it was? Okay, so I could just, um, reform the faith 
right now. And we would have a brand new, exciting, sexy faith, admittedly. The problem with that is, uh, yeah, my new faith would be, uh, well, it would be a stray. So, not massively significant. We could still intermarry and stuff. But, I think we need to consider what we need to do here. Ancestor worship is, uh, that one's kind of not very good. Uh, so, it's probably... Uh, Better options, but they all cost things. Okay, I'm gonna need to take some time to. Oh, blimey, some of these are. Some of them are very, very expensive. Got it. Any of them that cost only 500, though, we could just keep. We could just keep and. Uh, yeah, we could change. We could change a bunch of stuff, but it's gonna get. It's gonna get more and more expensive as we start changing things. So, uh, okay. I could just reform the faith and keep it precisely as it is. But it would still be a reformed faith, which is, you know, advantageous in various ways. Or we could make some changes further down, leave the tenets as they are, but have things like, say, an actual flipping church head. So as a result of that, yeah, we'd have a proper head of faith and whatnot. Because that would allow, oh my, a great holy war, you say? And it would actually be pretty cheap to enforce gender equality. So as a result, women can be knights. That basically just doubles the talent pool. Shield maidens, damn it. Shield maidens. So, okay. There's a bunch of stuff here. There's a bunch of stuff we could do. But I would say, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough for now. Because Ilva, at the bloody age of 86 is still going, but the game is now saying she's ailing, and pretty much we're being propped up by a ludicrously attentive husband, uh, together with, yeah, some very, very good perks. So, uh, how much longer can this possibly go on? Next time, we are going to be reforming the faith, but, yeah, I've only just, just got enough piety to do it. If I could hold on for, like, say, another six years, uh, then at that point... Yeah, that's, that's interesting right there. All of a sudden, I can do all of this much cheaper. And you've got to say, Catholicism is looking a little bit on the shaky side. Most of Spain is gone. Yeah, all of Celtic Britain looking very dicey. Iceland, that's just a flipping matter of time. Norway is rapidly coming around to our way of thinking too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is... Uh, this is looking very, very nice indeed. So, what are my priorities and how long can we possibly afford to wait? Because uh, if we wait too long and Ilva dies, uh, we get nothing. All of this was for nothing. So, uh, yeah, some big, uh, careful decisions are coming up very, very soon indeed, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John, so there's been many a true nerd, and this has been Crusader Kings 3. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, this no, this no, guy's no, enjoying no. that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. Oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephant in the rear. And then in come the chariot.